Hey everybody, it's Rosie here for Astrophotography and it is a clear and crisp and cold Friday night. Uh, there's no moon and it's just wonderful out right now, except for the cold. I'm going to have to put a coat on soon. Astrophotography is a year old today and I asked on my Instagram, on my Twitter, so I said, shall I reshoot it as a as an anniversary and practically most people said yes. So, here we are. I'm really excited about it because it's been about a year now and not only do I have extra equipment, I've got some hydrogen alpha data on this target now, but I think the most important thing I've done in this time is learnt more. <laughs> so, I know more processing, I know more weight, I like have a better idea about long exposures because then I did five minutes at ISO 1600 with this same rig, except for the mount. And now I'm doing five minutes at ISO 800, so it should be dimmer. I took an hour's worth of images at three minutes, ISO 800, just to get some star control, because there's a W of very bright stars in this frame. So I took an hour of that so I could get some good star control. And then I'm back onto five minute subs to get detail out of the nebulosity. And with this, I'm going to make a HA RGB composite. Oh man, it's getting cold. What the fuck going on? Why am I glad about that? I just looked down at my screen on the laptop and saw blinking yellow light around the battery indicator on IPT. And uh, what actually happened was I pulled the charger out of my laptop. Tonight's target is the Flaming Star Nebula, and it is an emission nebula in the constellation of Auriga. And I shot this target before, back in, uh, I think it was January actually, not December, but January? Or it might have been December. But this was the first deep sky target I actually shot under the name of astrophotography. This gorgeous chunk of hydrogen emission nebula gas in space in Auriga, that's just shaped I can't explain the shape but it's just like this round bit and it goes off surrounding the star AE Auriga which is the flaming star and then in the bottom corner of the frame I've got this W of bright stars it's such a well balanced target in my opinion I'm so excited about it but what do you think of this red light I quite like it it's a lot easier on my eyes to film with this red light Astrophotography is this strange hobby where we where we forego sleep and comforts of being able to stay indoors when it's cold and at night time and going to bed at reasonable hours. We spend so much time and money and effort on equipment, learning the processes, learning editing, learning how to get the most out of our photos. And then We'll spend time problem solving, troubleshooting things when they don't go right. And when it all comes together we have this this one photo that we captured using backyard equipment, bought like domestic DSLR cameras and telescopes and lenses of deep sky objects or planets like where or galaxies and nebula where the light left them. It's ancient light from light years ago. And we can capture it in the back garden using using these small telescopes and cameras. And at the end of it, when we've done it all and we've processed it, and we've edited it, and we've edited it, and we've edited it again, we have this beautiful photo of the past to share. That makes it worth it, doesn't it?